Hey there, I'm Critzy Bear. Welcome back to Outlast Whistleblower. Last time I experienced computer ending tactical difficulties, got my face licked, and then got stuck trying to find a window to climb through. This game is great. Anyway, welcome back. This time I'm going down a hallway. We're trying to find a, a key, and uh, I actually, uh, actually looked it up between episodes so that I would have a little more guidance. Still don't know exactly where it is. I'm gonna have to do some searching still, but it should be great. It should be great. I'll, I'll find it. No problem. Hey, dude. Where you at? Which way you coming? Which way? There you are. Hey, dude, come on. Come on in. Hey guys, it's your boy Critzy. Welcome back to 24 hours in an insane asylum challenge. Oh shit, that's not the door open. But last time we were getting chased by the scary cannibal chef. This is so scary, guys. What if he? Fo Ooh. Interesting. What if he? What if he finds us, guys? Oh, hey. You want an interview? Can I help you out with your uh, gag? Yeah. What's up? Okay. Oh, I remember you. You can't see me, but. Okay, what's the secret? All right. <clears throat> this guy. Battery? I love batteries. Gimme. Give me, give me the battery. There we go. Okay. Do you, do you want to like come with me? Sure. We can be friends. An itch, huh? Eh. Well, wait a minute. Actually, I did have an itch on my back. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that is open. I thought it was like a uh, behind the Somebody's breaking a door somewhere Okay hiding place ominous, uh, I'm gonna check out what that other room was. Oh, you already go in? Where'd you go? In here? Ah, oh, alright. Uh, need some privacy already. That was fair enough. <clears throat> Anything on this guy? No. How'd that guy get away from the wall rider, do you think? I mean, he's blind. Maybe it's because he's blind, hmm? This is really interesting. Reminds me of, uh, E.T. You know, the plastic thing that they put over the house or whatever. <clears throat> Case MM120715. Form note, all material herein to be transcribed according to Form 4083 with forensic revisions as benefits. Ongoing lawsuit 1200715. Author Ethan 
Can't say that name. I have no idea. This is a request for a specific legal consultation on in the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Cho against Markov Charitable Psychiatric Incorporated USA, originally filed in 2010. At the time of Ms. Cho's termination, the psychosomatic effects of the morphogenic engine on female employees and patients had been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients had reached fictitious half-term pregnancies. In a matter of weeks before miscarrying the non-existent children, five of them fatally. Interesting. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other building, and then eventually entirely off the Mount Massive facility. The critical secrecy of Project Wallrider necessitated secrecy in the motivating factor for the reassignments and terminations, resulting in perceived injustice from several terminated parties. Miss Cho has succeeded in acquiring a court-ordered FOIA? I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm not a lawyer. Release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post-dated, providing ameliorating information while skirting the relevant secrecies of the project. Please advise Ethan... Yeah, you know, honestly, that's not that shady. I mean, they do need to be secret about it, and... Well, they said that the effects were well-documented. Did they knowingly put her in such a situation? That... Hmm. That seems... Shady. Obviously, yeah. Who? Jermaine! Deputy Director? Ball Rider? Not here. Where am I? Where am I right now? I, I can't... Remember. Is this the area that we just came from? Oh, okay. No. I thought maybe we got our way back out, but... Like, back to where the cannibal was, but... <gasps> okay, I see where we are now. I I've got my bearings. Yeah, it's been a little bit. I, I took a little bit of a break between episodes, so I lost track of where I am. Mm-hmm. Hippity hop. Up. 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 And over. Uh, you're not even gonna try? What? He's not even gonna try. That's a little disappointing. I thought he liked me. I thought he liked me. Oh, okay. Oh, whatever. Hopefully we get a story segment now. I don't want to do more hiding and running and stuff. Hmm. As usual, it's going to be back-to-back -back hiding segment. Here's the hiding spots! Yep, it's back-to-back. -back. Okay. I would have preferred story, but... I'll, I'll, I'll be patient. You know, some... Oh, yeah? You're not going to keep trying? Not seeing any way in. From here, anyway. Okay, this is a crematorium, huh? Hmm. Why? Why would I want to? Oh, well, bye, dude. It's nice and toasty. Oh, that turns it off. Ah, I see. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to, like, climb up somewhere? Whoa, Jesus, dude! Can 
Can we talk or do you give up? Why? Oh, I see. All right, you're putting me in the crematorium. All right, I get it. I was about to say, that's not enough to save you from a crematorium. Do you have any idea how hot it has to be to cremate a human? But uh, I guess if there's like a way out. I mean, why don't you just crawl through? Like, we could keep chasing. Oh. Oh, well, I guess, uh, you know, he did for the... For, to be fair, he did make an attempt. Yeah, dude. You okay? No. Okay, that's... I thought his butt was bloody. <laughs> I, but it's oh I mean it technically is but it's uh, from it's it looks like it bled down there not like bled from there God I wanted to say um there's a lot of like du there's a lot of like doctor bad in this game but like why like I mean I get I get, um, unregulated medical experiment bad. I get, um, mental health system bad sometimes. I get, uh, you know, human rights violations throughout history bad. But why doctor bad? I mean, like, these doctors didn't sign up for it. Well, some of them did. I imagine the more sadistic ones did. But a lot of these people, like, they literally can't talk about this. We're seeing people, even the doctors... Or even the employees are suffering here. So, like, why, why are we going doctor bad? Why are all the doctor characters bad? Hmm. Which way do you think I gotta go? Because, like, whichever way I, ha I have to go, I, I want to go a different direction. That looks like a church or auditorium. And it has an exit sign, so, like, I figure that's probably a direction. Is the steam still... Yep, probably can't go back over there. Fair enough. Can I get back the way that guy came? Oh, that wasn't him. That was the guy he was, uh, the other guy was climbing with, huh? Where did he go? Like, where, where did they climb? Oh, up there. Okay, so if that's a climb, perhaps the church, or whatever that is, is not the way to go. Peek. My character detects creepy in here. But I'm not sure why nothing's going on. Oh, document. Nice. Glad I came in here. What is it? Uh, Father Clark, far be it from me to lie to a man of God. So, oh, who is this written by? Excerpt from the recordings of Dr. Bruce Newhouse, MD. Perhaps I'll get a good doctor. I mean, <clears throat> a Christian man. Maybe he's going in for, uh, for, you know, confession or something. Father Clark, far be it from me to lie to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. And I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients, and if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or similar calming procedure. See, this is what I'm talking about. Why Dr. Bad? See, the thing about lobotomies is, even back when they were in practice, most doctors called them an abominable atrocity. A lot of doctors didn't agree with it. And I, I guess, it, like... <clears throat> and, like, uh, the doctor that popularized them, like, was like a raging scumbag or something. Who, like delivered them excessively, saw no evidence that they were actually working, and then decided they needed to deliver more. Anyway. 
Far be it from me to okay. Don't underestimate the contribution your sermons offer to our patients, especially considering the depth and necessarily chaotic nature of hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor not all of our poor unfortunates have families to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We're all uh, of we are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. Fair enough. I mean, just because he's a bad guy doesn't mean he can't respect the value of a, you know, community asset, like a priest, for instance. You know, I'm not Christian or anything, but, like, I, I appreciate the value of having, like, a community, uh, a community figure to, you know, gather around. Somebody to, uh, you know, hear out your woes and stuff. Which uh, isn't to say that all priests are good, but, like, ideally... Oh, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, I burnt my little toes. I burnt my toeses. That's where I came from. I'm pretty sure I've talked about, um... My religious background on, on the channel. Uh, I'm actually educated by the Order of Bards, Ovates, and Druids, believe it or not. Which is, like, barely religious at all. It's more like a, uh, doctrine. Kind of like, uh... Kind of like how anybody who can uh, anybody can follow Buddhist teachings, you know. It's all about like uh, folklore and uh, respecting uh, the world. It's kind of like uh, Zen environmentalism, uh, combined with a lot of like uh, you know old stories and stuff. Oh yeah, the guy. What do you mean? Where? Alright, I guess the wall rider and me are cool now. Didn't even try to attack me. <clears throat> oh yeah? I'm getting a wall rider migraine. Can I go in here? Nope. I don't know. I know that that's a this is a weird thing to talk about on a video like this, but like Ah, that's like cremation smoke. I thought it was uh, the wall rider hanging out. But like uh I'm not really doing much. I'm just kind of looking around looking for things to talk about, you know. Can I get up there? Hmm. All right. Well, if I can't get up there, I might as well how did somebody manage to live up here? With all the security guards and stuff? Wouldn't they have known somebody is missing? Who do you think lived up there? Anime. Anime landing. <laughs> Nothing over there. What's in here? Battery? Can we get in here? No. Hiding places, not great. Heard a noise. What's it? Not seeing anything. Oh, wait. Hang on. This isn't the way I came, right? Like, where I came from? Ah, that tree. So why the creepy music? Nowadays, that topic isn't really something I would uh, talk about on camera. Dude, there are plenty of corpses around. Leave it be, you lost. Anyway, but like, uh, that's something that I, I mentioned like ages ago, back when I wasn't really sure what I was doing on YouTube. So, you know, I'm kind of stuck with it now. But, you know, like, uh, of all the things that could be known about me that I don't necessarily want, out there. That's pretty tame, right? It's not like anyone knows where I live or anything. Just an innocuous uh, thing like that. Education and stuff. Oh, yeah? 
I'm gonna go ahead and reload it preemptively. And I think maybe take a sip of my coffee before it's cold. Don't want to overdo it. Last recording session, I ended up drinking like twice my usual amount of coffee. They sound so hopeful. I hope they get out. Ah, wait, no they won't, because the woods also have the wall rider, and I just saw him going outside. I wish I could warn him. I could. I wish I could be like, hey guys, I just saw a shadow monster man going outside. You don't want to be here, buddy. <laughs> Big day today, Freeman. Sorry, I just felt like uh, throwing in one of those. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh, what am I doing putting the camera down? What the fuck was that? Nope, couldn't get around it. Oh well. If I can uh, evade him long enough, I should be able to get my health back. Of course, I uh, went around a fucking circle. Okay, not nah, and done. See, the strategy is primarily to hide from the enemies, but, uh... Me, personally, I... What the fuck are you talking about? What? Right there? Over here, perhaps? I saw a couple stacked boxes over there. Nope. Probably not where I gotta go. Through here? Uh, is he still after me, or? I can't tell. Just shut this so we don't get suspicious. While I look around. Up, perhaps? Oh, maybe he couldn't get through the crack that I easily slipped through in a hurry. <clears throat> Sorry, I got... I was uh, messing with my mouse pad. Somebody needs privacy. Which one do you think they're in? Oh, that one. <clears throat> Don't mind me, I just need to use the bathroom here. Where is she? She? He? I can't remember the line. Like, do I gotta, like, open this? I probably shouldn't, right? All right. Documented. What did I say about that? Where am I getting time to write these? Lisa, or whoever finds this, know that Murkoff is making monsters. I'd never seen the patients after they'd gone through that German so-called therapy. The engine. So much worse than I could have imagined. <clears throat> Probably reading it in the wrong tone. They may still be human, but something's been ripped out of them, and too many other things pushed back in. They were not all mur they were not all murderers. They were sick, but they weren't killers. Murkoff made the monsters. Dr. Rosett said that the engine had varying effects. The variant outcomes too erratic for any sort of prediction. I took it as an idle cafeteria small talk. Rawls on endless, relentless, endless chatter. I should have listened. Rawls? Whatever. <clears throat> okay, so, like, that isn't the way, then. And there's no hole there. And, oop, there's one. Couldn't see it. To be fair, it is transparent. Probably can't go through there, right? 
Oh, I can. I figured the steam was overpowering or something. Battery. Mm, not going that way. Avoid the steam. Not that way either. Uh, there's no hole here. Where? Hmm? Did I go the wrong way again? Not seeing any holes. Not seeing any way up anywhere. Hmm. Oh, jeez. My man, I would love to. I would love to help you. I can't. I've been in that gas, and I don't think it kills you, but... Find a way to shut off the gas. I hope there's no... villain protecting the shut-off valve. Cool. I wonder who the next monster could be. Mmm. Mmm. Man, this experience is exhausting. I do recall seeing Velves at the, sun, uh, at the start of this. But, like, of course, there's gonna be, like, a dude. Alright? A dude who guards the gas? Tis I, Jeremy! Guardian of the gas valve! Let me guess. No? Oh, I expected something to, like, walk by. Oh, doors boarded up. Couldn't have. I like the dust in the air. That's pretty. <clears throat> you know, this game is... Nothing except at least designed pretty. Like, it is a creepy environment, but... The enemies are... Very, very repetitive, my man. Skeleton! Valve? No, can't turn that valve. That's probably just water anyway. Hiding place? Hmm. I can't remember where I saw those valves. Valve? I remember approximately the direction I came from now. So... Should be able to pretty easily make my way back if I have to run. I'm gonna preemptively reload it. In case I have to run with night vision. Pipes. Absolutely. That's where I came in. And so the pipes would be near here. I mean, I don't even know that that's what I gotta go after. I mean, honestly, the fact that I haven't seen a single spook on my way back here. Oh, hey, there's the pipes. And nope, was not what I had to go after. Well, maybe. Perhaps through here. Another hiding place. Nope, nothing. Hmm. <clears throat> Where could the pipe shut off be? Hmm. Any, like, a vent or anything? No. Nothing. Now nah, those are probably for the crematorium anyway. Don't suppose I can turn this one? Nope. Wonder where the monster man went. How do you even get in here? 
I went through a vent. Here? Nope. And there's neurology. Any, uh, lore? Nope. Oh well. Would have loved to read some neurology lore. <clears throat> lore is like my favorite part of this. I hear creaking like a vent. But it might just be the light dangling. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna run out of batteries just looking for my goal. I feel like this wasn't a problem in the, uh... Ah, that would be what's creaking. I feel like this wasn't a problem in the first part. Seems like something I'm only running into, uh, in the... in the DLC. And this is like the second time I've gotten lost, right? Wait, is this where I came from just now? What? Am I lost? Oh no! I'm lost! Oh shit! Creek, creek, creek. Where, where, what was the direction? That I was just at? <clears throat> through here, through... Li right, the library, I ran through there. Yeah, remember where I boasted that I would be able to find my way around? Hmm? Remember that? And here we are. Uh, let me check, uh, urology? Hiding places in here. Battery, perhaps? No. Alright, didn't see anything. Hope I don't have to look up a walkthrough again for the Outlast DLC chapter. What is this green in here? Like, why is the light flickering green? Can't go up there. Just where we went. A little disappointed I took a walk all the way back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I see someone? Hmm. Must not have. You here? That's the bathroom. No pipes in here. Somehow, the one place with palming. And here's where we were looking around. I didn't see any way to shut it off in here. I looked over here, right? Oh, pipe? Oh, pipe? Yeah? <laughs> Can I get up here? Nope. I do see pipe. Can't believe I walked all the way back. I can't take it back either. I can't just restart the episode like I usually would. <laughs> cause, uh. Cause it saves automatically and I can't manually save it. So, uh, I'm stuck with it. I can't get into the security kiosks. And I've looked around for more holes. Oh my god. You know what's a really good game idea? Dark area, transparent walls, man-sized holes in the walls that you have to go... Oh my god. I mean, can you blame me for not seeing that? Ay ay ay. I can't believe this. I'm so dumb. <laughs> What's that, Lore? Saturn influencing human behavior. <clears throat> I think that deserves a uh, scientist quote. Put that down. It's a prototype. 
The potential use of psycho psychochemicals in... Psychochemical? Yeah, I got it right. In political action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as might be expected. Chemical division includes it as a objective as of its as an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make such operations possible non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operatives are also included in the program what you're talking about making like sleeper agents note something or other uh j lawler april 15 1958 oh this is from 1957 neat Operations of TSD <clears throat> present the above MK Ultra excerpt into ah I see into Technical Services Division for budgeting and authorization of continued research into the research of Dr. Rudolf Wernick Wernicke Asset one four eight six six and Project Wallrider dude he himself is considered an asset. Dang. Autopsy of recovered text, test subjects shows chemical content of bodies, metallic tumors, evidence of subdermal combustion that indicates heavy psychochemical dosage. What? Subdermal combustion? Metallic tumors? What kind of psychochemicals are you talking about? Also, where's the valve? None in here? How about in here? Oh, that's where I came in. Hmm. Oh, yeah? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Hey. Yeah, we're good. Oh, dude, you don't want to do that. Ah, man. That man deserves an actual hospital. <clears throat> he ain't even aggressive. And he's probably lobotomized, honestly, with how horrible the people here are. You know, maybe they're, like, selecting doctors that... Are... You know, that could be a thing. Maybe they're selecting doctors for their sadism, right? Maybe Markov is specifically selecting from their doctors ones that would be okay with this kind of experimentation. That's a thought. Like, it could be intentional. Like, maybe Dr. Bad isn't, like, the point. Maybe it's, uh, again, unregulated medical experimentation bad. E229. Interesting. Alert light? Why? Ominous. <laughs> Oh, but it's completely normal in here. Actually, this is a decent room. Ah, I see. I'll... The button probably turns on the alert. Why? Since when do they care about people here? Also, a hiding spot. Made note of that. Anything in here? No hiding spot in here. Ah! Vent. Why? Why am I so scared in the vent? Why? My man's shivering. I mean, to be fair, he's going through a lot right now. Why? Why vent? Oh god, I know why vent. I'm gonna have to hop in there for safety, right? No, well, at least I remember it now. Let me just uh, practice here. Let's imagine I have to run, hop, up. Got it. Got to remember to press the up button too. All right, I've practiced. You know, just a good idea to be prepared. There's a station. Can't open. Big pile of stuff, can't get through. What do you mean? What what am I even running from? I didn't see anything. Why am I why are they playing chase music, dude? Hop, 
Up, 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 up. Oop. Got in. What am I even running from? I don't even know. I guess I'll just wait for the music to stop. How's your day going? I don't know, mine's going pretty okay. I decided to use a little of my extra time to record tonight, uh, since I'm in a good mood. I don't know if you can tell I'm in a good mood. Uh, it's probably the only reason I'm having so much fun with this game. Hello? We, uh... We still hiding, or...? Where'd he go? Who am I even hiding from? Whatever. I was uh, trying to get into the nurse's station, right? Two thirty seven is in distress. Why do only these rooms have nurse bells? Oh, hey, dude. Yeah, this is where I came from. What was I running from then? What? Huh? Man, this game, dude, this game is crazy. Can't believe this. <laughs> it's a, I'm saying I can't believe this a lot, dude. <laughs> so where are we going in here? I'm trying to look for a shutoff valve or something. Right? But I'm not finding any. I'm almost out of batteries and every- wait, hang on. Can we get up there? No. And I've wasted batteries looking. Oh, I can go down this way. Alright, I get it. So there's someone patrolling then. There he is! Gop! Oh, phew. That got me. That got me a little bit. That's like one of the only scares in this game that can get me is like you have to get up really quick and something's chasing you, right? Except he's not actually chasing me. I wish I had a better spot to judge where he is from. Like, it would be nice if they put a light on the opposite side of this door so that you can see uh, if, they're, if the shadows are moving outside. But I'm losing patience, so I think I'll just uh, try to juke him. Or not. So what's uh, what's in this room? Hide behind the door, dude. Oh fuck! It scared me. Oh, hang on. There's a there's a thing. Hop. All right, I don't have to hide. Nice. Yeah. Now what? I'm not in here. You thought I was, but I ain't. Nothing special. Never mind. Where's the guy? Hmm? You're not gonna try to get me? What? You're not strong enough to break down the door? Or are you programmed to leave me alone? Huh? Okay. Cool. <laughs> I meant to shut it from this side. Do I have to worry? Potentially. Chase segment. Well lit. Potentially. <laughs> a 
<laughs> oh, geez, that, I was about to say that would be a good scare, actually. Nice going, guys. That was a good one. Wait, I'm back in the kitchen? Aren't I finding a way to turn off the gas? Hang on, back. No, I'm looking for... There we go. Notes. Yeah. If I die, varying effects. All right. Oh, wait. There we go. Find the main valve and shut off the gas. Nothing's actually... Nothing's actually following me. Do we got any batteries in here? That would be really nice. No. Oh, got some documents. That's cool, at least. Is this a... This is a chemistry lab, not a kitchen. All right. <clears throat> Markov Psychiatric System Park. Well, writer, Mount Massachusetts. Patient Frank Antonio Manera. Consultation dated 2012. Date, uh, initial date of consults, 2010. Age 36. Physician, Dr. Carl. Minimal morphogenic activity. <clears throat> And only at extreme, stages 5 and 6, levels of hormone therapy. Dream states return to repeatedly to... <clears throat> dream states return repeatedly to images of isolation and betrayal. Zero lucid state. Heavy bronchial accumulation consistent with patients with histories of tobacco and marijuana. Exceptionally low REM activity. At the time of this interview, Frank was down to 155 pounds from his admission weight of 228. Holy cow! 155 isn't bad, but if your resting weight is 200, that's awful. <clears throat> he was lethargic and largely non-responsive, exhibiting interest only in the hypnotherapy script pattern 9 to Warnick. Concerning drinking blood from the chest of sleeping men. What? What? What kind of patterns are you talking about? He continues to refuse baths or the attention of a barber outside of general anesthesia, stating, if I cannot partake, I cannot share. Hmm. Weird. <clears throat> Maybe... Barber? Recommended forced nutrition for Do Mr. Minera if we cannot find something he likes to eat. Well, at least they're trying to find something he'll willingly eat. That's nice. Uh, they are still forcing him to undergo, like, weird hormone therapy and LSD experiments, though, so, you know, still not great. Oh, good. I'm. Oh, poor guy. I'm just, like, looking for a key, dude. I am gonna get him killed, though. I can feel it. Do I not need to shut it off after all? It'd be cool if walking under the gas made you cough or something, you know, so that you have to worry about noise. Oh, wait, hiding spot. I mean, I don't even know if I need it yet. Do I need it? Ay, ay, ay. See, my guy's heart is pounding, right? And I'm looking for audio cues. But sometimes they just throw in audio cues for different things. I hear creaking. See, and the creaking is traditionally an audio cue for vents. Where is he? I heard the saw blade. Where? Also, what is this room? Oh, weird. I hope I can investigate. You know what? You know what? Let's take a deep breath. <sighs> 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 
there's no reason I can't investigate. If I feel like looking around at the lore, my mind can make my reality. I want to look around this room, I'm going to look around this room. No fear, balls of steel, toxic masculinity, whole deal. I ain't scared of nothing, dude. I ain't scared of nothing. And my mind is my reality, and my reality says there is nothing to fear. Hey, dude. No problem. Hop. Oh, shit, you can't hop over that. All right, fair enough. I wonder if I can get that guy killed. Oh, no, he locked it. All right. Uh, yep, checkpoint. See, nothing to fear. I don't know. The I feel like I don't get scared by horror like this. Oh, shoot, I should probably let it reload, right? And then pause it so I can just get back into gameplay when I feel like it. Anyway, I don't feel like I respond well to horror like this. Well, it's not that I respond poorly to horror like this. I'm thinking, you know... Yeah, I ran the wrong way, I think. Anyway. I feel like I respond better to horror like Omori, which uh, I just came from. I loved that game. My absolute favorite horror game. <clears throat> I got really spooked by it a couple of times. I, I genuinely did feel scared by it. Um, God, I can't think of other horror games that I've played right now that I actually enjoyed. Well, I do enjoy this. I'm like, I mean, I, I actually got scared by it. This game would be cooler if I, like, had to combat with the, uh, scary mental effects a little more than the scary mental patients. Wish I had batteries. No reason anyone has to come in here. Hiding space. Ooh, battery, nice! Oh, I remember the gas rooms. Inhaling, that's probably not great. Heard an audio cue. It might have just been the background noise. Mm. See? Yeah. That noise is what I'm thinking of. See, I expect that noise to mean that something scary is nearby. I wish he would rev his saw blade more. That would make it a lot easier to do this. You know, Chain Man was convenient in that he... See? Audio cues. Is it dynamic, or is this just the background soundtrack? Like, I feel like it's revving up in intensity, but I don't know if that's just because it's naturally, uh... How do they cover every surface with plastic? How do you manage that? And, like, at that point, why, though? Like, at that point, you would have to move all of the furniture out of this room in order to clean off the bloodstains? Like, presumably the plastic is for the bloodstains. Why the walls? Oh, uh, what about the ceiling? Do you think it's on the ceiling, too? I can't see right now. It's covering the radiator. Like, at this point, it would be easier to just use bleach, right? It would be easier to just mop the floor, move the bed and mop the floor, right? If you're th I'm, I'm gonna guess it's just general noise. So it's like a circle? Something's nearby. Oh yeah? Feed ya? Where are we going here? Here? I think? Nope, not here. Here? Perhaps? Nope, not there. Where am I going? See, that looks like the way to go, but like it don't open. Oh, that do that is open. I, th I thought it was closed. The freaking glass door. See, this is what I mean. Oh, hang on. Perhaps I can get, get up? No. Oh, I can't! Nice! Oh, rad. <laughs> Did he just, like, pump his fist like drat? Foiled again! <laughs> Can you 
Can you like come around or gas room? Are you coming around? I Oh whatever. I can just hop back up if he is, right? Nice. Can he come around? It'd be mighty convenient to know. Cause like it's still playing the action music, like I need to worry about it. And I can hear his footsteps. See, this looks like uh, a situation. You you gotta get like a maintenance man up here, man. This looks, you know, this happened to my ceiling. Like just randomly, the ceiling just decided to fall off. I had to hold it up while uh, somebody else got the stuff to fix it. Uh, can we just like get in here or? Do we gotta worry? Door doesn't open, so perhaps? Perhaps we're safe. Do not what the valve? Do not turn the valve. Warning. Don't turn the valve. Interrupted interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient and to potentially disrupt the experiment. Ah, I see. Interesting. I might have just caused a lot of pain by turning that valve. This is not where the uh, dude died. So now do I gotta like get all the way back or? Hmm. I don't think I've encountered a save point yet. Hmm. Oh. Where is he? Is he coming through? I hear his footsteps, but... Yeah, whatever. Just... I'm almost done with the episode anyway. I'll just go slowly until it's time to sprint. And then I'll go in the opposite direction. Because this is a big ring, right? Where is he? Go! Door! What the fuck are you talking about, man? What do you mean? Ay yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, convenient. Oh, shit! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Wait, did he not get through? Oh. Alright, well, I shouldn't have been scared after all, I guess. Oh, poor guy. What?! Oh, I hit a loading zone. Nice. <sighs> Sigh of relief. Oh, I'm outside? That's convenient. No, it's not, because the wall rider's out here. Ah! What? Jeez! Surely they wouldn't. No, no. You were mine. Where are you? You gotta let it go, man. You gotta let it go. Ah, oh, chain. Can't get back in. Any, like, uh, documents or... No. hear footsteps. Or I think I do. Hmm. Well, this is something to explore next time, I think. I'm getting a little sleepy. Might go lay down in real life. You will take a nice nap after this relaxing game. Where is he? I want to see if he's, like, an issue or not. <clears throat> Before we go on, I want to see if he's going to be a obstacle about it. Like, I mean, I don't mind if he's jogging out here. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with him. <laughs> yep, that's it's that situation, huh? Oh, 
Oh no, he's not. He's not a murderer. He's just a dick. <clears throat> I saw him jump over here. Earlier, I mean. Probably stay out of his path. The giant? Oh, no. Well, let me guess. Oh, hey, the sky. I don't know if I've seen that before. Nice. Prison block. Yeah, yeah. I know who we're going after. Let me guess who the giant is. Giant's chain man, right? There's a lot of footprints in there. Hey, dude. Three hundred and thirty-two. Dude's getting his dunks in. Practicing. Oh, saving. Thank goodness I wanted to end the episode anyway. Hey, what's up? You okay? You need help? Oh, I'm sorry, bud. <clears throat> there is a situation here. Wonder when those armed men are getting here. Sorry, I mean. <clears throat> the military cleanup is just a paranoid rumor, isn't it? That's another scientist quote. Don't shoot! I'm with the science team!